Hi everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to migrate this old website to Cloudways. And this method will involve no downtime. You can migrate your website safely and very easily without any downtime at all. And this method can be applied for any type of WordPress hosting. Basically, it doesn't matter what host you are using currently. It can be SiteGround, A2 Hosting, Hostinger, Hostgator or any other web hosting provider. You can use the same method to transfer your website to Cloudbase. So let's start. And before starting, I would recommend you to, um, although it is not mandatory, to have a backup of your old website and disable any type of security plugin you are using temporarily on your old website. Um, like if you have a CAPTCHA or second factor authentication or some firewall or something, because during migration, it can cause conflicts on the new host and then you won't be able to log into your new account. After migration, you can enable them again and then it will start working. Okay, so first thing you have to do is sign up for Cloudways and the link will be in the description. You can my, use my referral link and you will get extra support. So if you have an issue with this tutorial, you are not able to migrate, you can directly email me if you have used my referral link and you will also get an extra coupon code. So um, just check the description link in this, it will take you to this Cloudways page. And here in the promo code, you have to use my code smart 10 okay and you will get extra 10 percent or more discount depending on the current offer running when you sign up for the paid paid plans um, what i will do is i have already signed up so i will just sign in to my cloudways account here when you sign in for the first time you will see this option of launching your server just click here now from application select wordpress you can select the latest version of WordPress, then name your app. After filling all these details, you will have to select your preferred server provider. So I would recommend you to use the Vulture High Frequency or you can use the standard version, but High Frequency will be best for e-commerce type of website or website which requires more resources. So from there, after that, you can select your RAM. Um, 2 GB is recommended by Cloudways, but it depends on how much traffic you are getting. You can also use the 1 GB. So for this tutorial, I will just use the DigitalOcean, which is the cheapest. Um, if you want the cheapest option, that's DigitalOcean. And if you want better performance, you should use Vulture High Frequency. And from here, then you can select the RAM size. So for this, I will just use 1 GB and then select the preferred location. I will select Amsterdam and um, you can select the location closest to your audience. After that, click on launch now. Now Cloudways will take about seven to 10 minutes to complete installing the server. Okay, so the installation process is now complete and we can see our application by clicking here, then click on WordPress. Okay, so this is the application we just installed and Cloudways by default will give you a temporary URL. So just click here and you will be able to see your WordPress website. Just click here and from here you can find the login details. Okay, so now you can see we have logged into our temporary installed Cloudways website and it's really fast. It's just the default WordPress website. So it's working pretty well. Okay, now what we can do is let's go back to the dashboard here. And okay, so now we will start the migration part. And just to make it easy to understand, I have changed the theme. Yes, I know there is a spelling mistake here. Uh, so I've changed the theme on the old website and this is the new website. So after when the migration is complete, it will be easier for you to see um, how it works. Okay. So now we have to go to the old website, go to the dashboard area. From here, go to plugins, click on add new. From here, search for Cloudways. Cloudways. 
and you will see this option cloudways wordpress migrator by cloudways install this plugin okay so it's installed just activate it now here you will have to just put your email address click on i agree to the terms and condition and then click on migrate now here you will have to fill the details of your cloudways server so the migration can be complete so the destination url you can get it from here i will just copy it this is the same url that is available from here okay so i will just paste it here then we need the s server address basically the ip address so here you can find the ip address of your server from cloudbase copy this and paste this here and database name so this is the database name just copy it here and sftp username and sftp password so for that we can um, create a sftp username and password just for this migration so in username here just create something random username then click on add okay so this is done now you just have to paste the same details here so now you will also see a new additional feature uh, http authorization enabled select this no if you are following this tutorial uh, we have not set any special uh, extra authentication so there are some more additional questions here uh, any root directories if you have just a default wordpress installation then you do not need to select yes but if you have uh, done some customization like um, basically in the back end not like in your theme or anything uh, then you would need to select yes for most people if not everyone you do not have to select yes to any of these options so um, just click on migrate here now as you can see blog vault cloudways basically this migration plugin will validate that the details you entered is correct and if it is correct then you will see the screen where you will see the progress of the migration now as you can see the migration is complete and in real time this took less than five minutes but that's also because i was migrating a complete new wordpress website if your website is big then it will take more time so also it will depend on your current hosting if they restrict the transfer speeds then it will take some more time but uh, you this will not take a lot of time uh, this is quite fast and very easy and simple to do so hopefully you are able to complete this step and once this is done we can verify that it is working let's go here so you can see this was the new site let's refresh this page and see how it looks now okay so you can see the migration is complete and it seems to be working now okay so i will just uh, maximize this page and now we can ignore this for right now okay so now what we have to do is go to the wordpress admin area on the cloudways website okay here you will see that this will automatically log you out because after migration the username and password of your wordpress admin area will change earlier you could use the these credentials this username and password but now you have to use the username and password that was on that was set on your old website okay so now instead of using this username i will use my previous username that was old account and password and then login okay so now we have logged in so make sure that you do not use the username password shown here okay and basically that's how easy it is to migrate your wordpress website but still there there are few steps left right for example you can see the url of this website is still the temporary cloudways and as i said earlier in the video that there will be no downtime so if you visit your website your proper domain name so this is my old website and you can see this is the domain name and it is working the migration plugin or the transfer process doesn't affect at all so your website continuously will work and there will be no effect when you are making any changes on the new website okay so which means there will be no downtime basically and what you can do is uh, you will see some difference here but i recommend you to add just a add new post and from here 
but you can just do it add one draft page okay so the reason for that is so you do not confuse that if this is the new website or the old website once the domain transfer process is complete now you can verify that if that uh, draft post is visible then you can be sure that this is the new website hosted on cloudways not on your old account okay so that's done now what we have to do is go here to the cloudways platform and from here we have to go to domain management okay from here you will have to enter the domain name that you want to set so i will put my domain name here and click on save changes okay so the domain name has been added here and you can see the transpointing instructions here point the domain to the cloudway server ip for that go to access details here and let's verify what is the current uh, ip that our domain is pointing to so you can visit this website lookmydns.com the link will be in the description just put your domain name here and then from here drop down select a then click on find you can see the current ip address of this website this is 104 something and we can also check the name servers click ns and then click on find so you can see this is the current website test the testing website that is currently on DigitalOcean. Um, do not confuse this with the DigitalOcean cloudways so this is my other account okay now what we have to do is go to the dns registrar for example in this video for this tutorial i'm using godaddy but if you're using namecheap or google domains i have video about how all the dns functions work with godaddy i will show you how you can do it um, so you have to log into the godaddy account and then from here go to my products and here you will be able to see all your connected domain okay now a lot of people complain that they are not able to see their domain and go they godaddy's interface is uh, can be a difficult to navigate sometimes so you can search for your domain name if it is not showing here now you can see it is showing here for me so I will just select the domain name and okay so, so you can see this is how it um, gets confusing just go to domains here go to all domains and here I will select this domain okay from here you will see this manage dns option and if it, at this point you are facing any issue like it gets confusing for a lot of users at this point um, although it is easy but because of the difference in the interface now if you have used my referral link my coupon code to sign up for cloudways you can email me with any issue and i will help you in fixing that you can also reach out to cloudways customer support they will also help you in migrating your website okay now you will see these are the records here for godaddy you can see there is one a record so if you are using a name server so what you have to do is if you scroll down here you will see this using default name servers okay now there is an option of changing it so you can if you are using this enter my own name server then you will see this use option of using the default name server okay so it is important that you use the default name servers for godaddy if you want to point your domain and manage all the ip records and everything from godaddy control panel so you can see the a record here now i will just edit that and i will go to cloudways here i will copy this ip address and paste it here okay earlier it was 104 something now it is 146 this so this should be the ip click on save and make sure that either you edit the old record or you remove the old record and add another a record okay because if you have multiple a records that is also pointing to the old server and to the new cloud based server then it will not work properly okay so we have pointed it and this will take some time to update the dns record so we can verify that from going to the same previous website that we used 
lookmydns.com and if we go here we'll go to a then click on find you can see um, for some servers it is showing the old IP and for some it is showing this new let's verify this go to cloudways here and um, you can see here this is the URL and now login okay so I have logged in to the WordPress admin area and you can see now there is no temporary cloud base URL and just to verify that this is the new migrated account I will go to post and go to all post and you can see here this is the issue that I was telling you about that um, now you do not see that draft option it means that currently we are logged in to the WordPress website but it is the old server account so there is another way to verify which um, hosting this is just you if you it doesn't matter any browser you are using just right click on it then you will see this option of inspect from here go to network just refresh the page okay and you will see that uh, if I select some element you can see this is the server address so this is the old IP address this happens because the DNS cache in your local PC is still pointing to the old IP so some way to resolve this is to clear your caching or you can try using another browser which I'm going to do now and show you so I'm using edge now and you can see um, earlier I was using Google Chrome and here you can see this is the same website but you will see the remote IP address is different so because in Chrome it is still pointing to the old IP address so it will take some time before the IP address gets updated in the your local PC system so I will log in here and when I log in to this um, website from the edge browser I will go to again go to the post here all post and from here you will see this is the draft page that I created just for this verification and it is here this means this is the cloudway server so our migration is basically completed everything seems to be working as it should have been and if you have if you disabled any security plugin you can enable them now and test it there are few very important things that are left to complete so we will finish that now let's go to the cloudways dashboard here first we have to issue the SSL certificate because that is really important let's go here SSL certificate and you can select let's encrypt just put your email address here then put your domain name here click on install certificate if you want to use the wildcard certificate then you will have to create another DNS record if you will see that if I tick here I will have to add this record okay so I just want to issue SSL certificate for this domain name so I will click on install certificate now you can see the expiry date of our certificate it's installed it's free and you have to just uh, leave everything as it is just keep the auto renewal on and this certificate will only issue once the IP address of your domain has changed and it is pointing to the cloudway server which you can verify from this website lookmydns.com and now one more important thing is your cloudways you have to use the SMTP feature uh, by default it doesn't allow you to send emails from the WordPress so if you are using any contact form or anything else like WooCommerce or your order related emails will not go um, so to fix that what you have to do is you enable the SMTP option the SMTP option can be enabled from here you can go to add-ons and you can see I have already enabled this and I already have a full tutorial about this the link will be in the description and also on your screen to that tutorial so you can watch that it's very simple to use and it's very cheap after that if you want you can also use the Rackspace email feature or if you want a free option then you can use Zoho email for mailbox this is especially important if you are coming from a shared hosting provider which generally includes also the email inbox feature so for that I will create another video so in with that I will also show you how you can migrate your old emails to cloudways and then continue to use it so I hope you found this video useful and if you have an issue or feedback please post them in the comments and I will try to 